order to subscribe for my channel please click here or click here please like share and comments on my videos and channel thank you hey guys this is Gaurav welcome to SAS with ServiceNow this is our follow-up session of ServiceNow service catalog training before I start, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Gaurav Tripathi. I have 9.5 years of experience in IT with 6.5 years of experience in ServiceNow Architect Solutions and Project Delivery. In this session, we are going to talk about categories. So the first question which comes in our mind is what are categories? Now categories organize catalog items in logical groups in ServiceNow, basically in service catalog. So they are kind of a bucket where you can put different request items you are creating for your end users. As an example, you can see we have IT, finance, HR, but if you will see the screenshot, we have those categories as well, like hardware, software, office, uh, departmental services. Now, these categories are not specific or it's not, uh, they're not like, uh, uh, that they have to create these kind of uh, categories. It's totally up to you because some organizations, they create categories as per the business units. So it's totally up to you, your organization's decision that how exactly they want to implement categories for the end users. Category form. Now you, ha you can create multiple categories in ServiceNow. But in order to create it, you have to know that what all fields it has so that you can submit the form. You can fill the data on category form and submit the form. So let's let's talk about what are the fields we have on category and you can you can also create the category as well under service catalog. So starting with the first field we have is name of the category. So basically your category form looks like this. And if you will see in service now, and I will show you uh, in, in directly in my personal developer instance, but the category form looks like this. So the first field we have is the name of the category. Here you can type whatever name you want and user will see this particular name. So whatever name you are selecting, it should be like understandable to the users. As I mentioned, if you are selecting as per the business units, so they should be aware, yes, this is the business unit. And if I click here, I will uh, find all the uh, relevant uh, request items under that particular category. Then we have catalog. Here you can select the catalog. So in our previous session, we learned about the catalog. Basically, you can create different catalogs as well. So if you want to add this category into a particular catalog, you can mention here. So it's just a reference field. If you click it, it will show you all the catalogs you have in your ServiceNow instance, and then you can select it. Then we have location. It's just the location for the category that what location you want to put uh, it, it, it basically it does not matter it just kind of a reference there's there's nothing like any kind of a condition uh, that these people or these locations people can only see this uh, category it's not something like that then we have scope of the application and you will find this field in everywhere basically that's what you see there's just a scope because ServiceNow has global scope and ServiceNow has also private scope that's a scoped application they say. Then we have a field which make which will make this category as active and inactive. So if you want to make any category inactive, you can just uncheck this box. But if you want to make any category active, you have to check this box. Then we have parent category. Now, even under category, you can uh, make a relationship like parent and child categories and it might happen as I mentioned so if you want to put parent categories as like business units and under those business units you want to if you want to put subcategories like hardware software you can also do that then we have description it is just a description which is which will explain in details about this category this is the icon now, this is a really important icon because once user will see uh, these, these categories, they will see this icon. Then we have desktop icon. It's just a large image that you can, that users can see for this particular category. So whatever image you select, it should be as per the category you are putting. 
so for example if it's hardware then you should have that kind of image so that users understand it just to make your ui better that's what the utilization is then we have header icon so what will be the header icon of the category and then we have mobile image so if somebody sees this category in mobile that what will be the image that's what you can uh, upload here and users will see that this is mobile subcategory render type now when mobile when you when you see these categories in mobile do you want to see them as a list or do you want to see them as card so there are two choices here as of now it's it's showing list but there is another option that is card so how exactly you can you want to render uh, the the categories that's what you can see here and you can select here basically then we have hide description it is just for mobile browsing so if you want to if you want to hide the the uh, description for mobile then you can just select it and it will hide the description just for mobile and that's the reason uh, you have this option over here then we have two related lists for this form one is catalog item that means if you have created multiple catalog items you can add them here you can also create a new catalog item but if you have existing catalog items you can add here as well directly and then we have categories so as I mentioned you have parent and child categories so this is the sub category of this category so as you can see we don't have any parent category so parent is empty that means this is the parent category and if you are adding any new category under this category those will become subcategories of this category and if you will open those child categories then you will definitely see the parent category filled in with the same parent category that's the overall catalog form we have with these details next is create a category so let me show you how exactly you can create the category with these fields so let's take a look this is my personal developer instance now in order to create the category I will go to service catalog under service catalog application I will go to maintain categories so this is the module we have maintain categories now these are the existing categories we have directly from service now this is not something I have created these are out of the box the baseline categories we can say so if I will go to new here and if I click new it will open up the category form as you can see we were working on the same form so here is just a category so I will put demo category And then I can put any catalog so let's put any catalog I think we can put to technical catalog here I will put demo catalog for demo here's telling you for parent but we are not doing anything it's asking to upload the icon let's let's upload so I have added the icon here it's just a random icon I, I have selected and then what I will do I will first save it and then I will try to edit here so I will just add uh, random items I want let's see if it shows me some of the list so yes I do have these items so I can put these and I have saved them so now I have added these catalog items now if I go to my catalog so this is a service catalog and if I go to my catalogs here and I have this technical catalog so let me try to add So now you can see I do have a new category as demo category so if I will add something it will add here and it's saying that cat demo catalog for demo 
and this is what we mentioned so demo category is is the name of the category and then this the the one which is uh, here that is demo catalog for demo i wrote the description so if i click this one so let's try to click this one now it will show me all the all the items which i have added for this particular category so you can see i can see a request knowledge base so it is showing right here so this is how you create a category and then you can add to your catalogs then we have dynamic categories now dynamic categories let you organize and display commonly requested items and knowledge articles so they are like if you have some uh, like common requested items or knowledge articles and if you want users to see those items then you can create dynamic categories so those are not static categories they will keep on changing as per the requirement you have mentioned as per the configuration you have done they, that particular items will automatically change as you can see on the screen we have in this particular catalog on the right hand side we have top request now top request it is not static now the list which you are seeing it is not static it is as per the request people are requesting if people are requesting uh, like these services like very high number of requests are being raised for these services then they will only show this particular list every time it might change as per the request getting increased for other items as well so when you have when you create dynamic categories so the form is similar but it it, it basically add two fields which you can see one is type that what will be the type of this dynamic category that can be requested item or the second is the knowledge article the knowledge article which people are searching uh, frequently that you can tag here and then it is telling you number of entries that how many records you want to show in that particular dynamic category that you can mention here the next thing we have is create a dynamic category so we will learn how to create dynamic categories in service now under service catalog in order to do that i will go to my personal developer instance now under set service catalog you will see we have this maintain dynamic categories so just to maintain different uh, categories you want you can see here we have top request as of now and this is out of the box and if you remember we mentioned about the two fields where we have this type and if i show here it says requested items and then we have kb articles and it shows the number of entries so let's try to create the same kind of dynamic category for KB articles. Here I can put top articles and it says in which service catalog I can put and I can just remove this and I will do insert and stay because I don't want to uh, disturb the current record. I have to create a new record with changed naming and configuration so i have this uh, kb articles type now what i can do i will go to maintain dynamic categories again and here it says top articles and if i go to my catalogs so like we have this service catalog and we have this top request i can just add a new dynamic category So that dynamic category would be you you can see we have this top request and now we can also add top articles so if i add at the bottom here i will see all the top articles so it says about windows and all that's what you can see now it is just showing you the category but how you want to show that this kind of list in that case what you need to do you go here you select top articles again it just shows category details and that's the reason it is showing you just this particular category now what i will do i will click on catalog items that what all items i have what all articles are there as as part of the top articles so i will again click add here now this will give you a different view you can see now this is the list of top used articles which are frequently used that is what you can see here 
but here it's just showing you the top level category so it's totally up to you your configuration what exactly you want but in this case because you want users to see those top articles then you will definitely select that catalog item rather than just category or just catalog details uh, you have that category details so this is overall about uh, categories so you can uh, create categories you can create dynamic categories so categories are just like a bucket where you can put different catalog items so thanks for watching my video have a great day